South Africa, in its 16 years of democracy, never has had to take any loans from the World Bank. If it doesn't come through, we'll cope. Mm -hmm. And we'll find some ways of uh, increasing 648 to 6 something. Uh, and the SARS people will have to work harder. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll manage. I think the key issue on the World Bank loan is that this is an opportunity for the World Bank to build a relationship with South Africa. Mm -hmm. We must be absolutely clear that South Africa will not accept any conditionalities of any kind uh, that is going to be attached to this loan. It's regrettable that, uh, particularly in developed countries, and a very small group of NGOs in South Africa are putting environmental concerns, which cannot be immediately addressed, above the economic needs uh, of South Africa and our need to grow our economy so that all the people of South Africa can actually benefit uh, from this. But we want to engage uh, all of these organizations, assure them that as a South African government we have a very clear plan in terms of capping carbon emission and uh, investing in renewable energy and over the next 10 to 15 years decreasing our dependence on coal. So there's a very profound commitment in this particular regard. But for now, not only South Africa, developing countries more generally uh, will have to rely on coal uh, and use whatever new technologies there are to minimize carbon emission, uh, even from coal stations. And new technology is available, and that new technology will, will be used uh, in, in the Medupi uh, power station. Um, and so those, those are the assurances that we can give to people who, who actually have those concerns. Remember that the world's uh, biggest economy, the United States, is still uh, has 50% of its power supplied, supplied by coal-powered stations. So we understand uh, you know, the focus on renewables and on nuclear. Um, as you know, my colleague, Minister Peters, is heading a process of developing an integrated uh, energy plan for South Africa. Uh, that plan and, and uh, its details will also be canvassed with all sections of South African society. Uh, so South Africa, unlike many countries in the world, has a clear, if you like, 15 to 20 year plan. Uh, some of those plans will become very clear in the next five to four, uh, three to six months. Uh, it's got a very high level of commitment, I'm repeating, uh, as per its Copenhagen uh, commitments to renewables. And, and that's going to be an exciting area of economic uh, uh, growth in South Africa and job creation as well. And lots of, lots of attention has been given to that by other cabinet colleagues. Uh, and, and the whole area of carbon emission uh, minimization is also receiving attention on our side. So all of these concerns, uh, having been uh, taken care of, uh, at this stage we're quite optimistic that South Africa's application uh, to the IBRD uh, should be approved on the 8th of April.